Africa has moved a step closer to a renewable energy future after power utility ESCOM was granted an operating license for its new SEER wind farm. The 100 megawatt wind farm will be the country's largest renewable energy project and will be constructed in the windswept region of the Western Cape. Like SEER, this demonstration project in Darling has given insight into the capacity of wind generated energy and proponents of its renewable energy source as welcome nurses' decision and its potential benefits. Of course the wind is not always blowing, but whenever it's blowing it's free of charge uh, fuel uh, compared to any coal-fired power station or, and uh, the fuel will always stay zero and uh, that's the benefit that the electricity cost will not increase like it does now with oil, gas and, and coal. In the Western Cape, four wind farms are under construction and this best testament to the correct weather conditions with which renewable energy sources like wind farms are said to flourish. But as a counterpoint to that argument, advocates of nuclear-powered energy for grid usage believe that the cost implications for certain wind energy applications makes it unsustainable and impractical. Different energy sources have got different applications. It's horses for courses. So solar and wind, which is so-called renewable energy, are wonderful for a whole range of applications. Solar water heating is wonderful. If you look at the Karoo, you'll see these little wind turbines running pumps all over the Karoo doing a great job. But for bulk electricity, for grid electricity, both are useless. They're very, very expensive. They give very unreliable electricity and they don't bring any environmental benefits whatsoever and they're extremely expensive. With South Africa fast approaching the winter season and rolling blackouts a common occurrence across the country, consumers may be relieved of some pressure due to the reported grid assistance the new wind farms may bring. It's going to be, um, as we know, more demanding times in the day for power use, usage. So definitely we need the, 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 the wind energy for sustaining that, helping that, um, stabilizing the grid exactly. So definitely they will be uh, useful for wind turbines and a lot of farms as well. Standing at just over 50 meters high, these four wind turbines that form part of a pilot project will be dwarfed in the years to come. When the Western Cape's landscape starts changing with the rise of an army of more powerful and sophisticated wind farms. In just over a year, ESCOM's new SEER wind farm will come online. And just like this demonstration, wind farm here in Darling contribute directly into the national grid. SEER is the country's first large-scale renewable energy project and could herald in a new era of further large-scale investment in renewable energy sources. Ravis Andrew, CCTV, from the Darling Wind Farm in Cape Town.